Hello, internet, it's your friendly neighborhood gremlin here. And today, we're gonna do a couple more tours. The goal was, you know, to like, do builds at least every other day. But, um, also, I don't want to today. So, this is what we're gonna get. Hopefully that's okay. So, let's figure out where we're going first. This is genuinely just like, a doctor's office or something. Maybe it's not that interesting. This is where I wanted to start today. Yeah. So, <laughs> God, this is gonna go well, isn't it? Probably not. Anyway, we've got ourselves a little doctor's office, which I quite like. Pretty simple. We've got some wheelchairs over here, you know, in case someone needs one, I guess. They've got a little waiting area, so you can wait to see the doctor, who has a reception desk, but also is his own receptionist. And then we've got a skeleton, you know, for anatomical reasons. I don't know. Doctors just have skeletons sometimes. Then we'll go back here. Uh, hold on. There we go. That's better. And then back here we just have beds. I suppose it's less like an exam office and more like... Oh, did you just say that the hands on the skeleton move? I didn't know that was a thing you could do. Anyway, I suppose that one's not important. So, we just got some beds so he can have like an infirmary. I suppose it's not a very practical doctor's office, but it is a doctor's office. I just really like this one. So I thought I would show it off much better than my actual hospital on the island. So let's go on to the next one. Here are our boobses. <laughs> and outside is a hot mess because custom designs. So ignore that. But he's got like a little farm. I think that's what he asked for. So that would make sense, wouldn't it? Anyway, this used to be a path and not a bunch of blood. Let's go inside where it won't be all screwed up. Or we've just got a cute little house. I suppose that's the best way to put it. He's got a little living room with a little Apple TV. Which is cute in concept. Though it's really small and really low down. So, it's probably not super practical, but it is cute, and he's not real, so he won't know that the television is in an awful place. And apparently he just watches it on the floor, so I suppose that's alright. Now we've just got the wall, has a bunch of stuff on it, so I do have to put stuff on a wall. And then he's got a kitchen in here. I'm gonna move me. Alright, there we go. Now we're better. Can I go into camera mode, maybe? I don't know. Let's try that. Okay. So, here we've got the kitchen, which again, is cute, simple, got a toaster with some bare toast. I really like a toaster that, like, makes toast shapes. I don't know that it would be great for, like, edible things, but it'd be cute. And then, she's got the stove that I love, and our little sloppy sink, because of course. And if we go back here, then we have a bathroom back here. Yeah, a little bathroom. I don't know that you can actually go into it. <laughs> It's probably not a lot of space. He's got a bathtub, a shower, with a toilet. I don't know about that wood thing that's just hanging out there. That's probably just something I forgot. We got our little, like, sink. And then over here we have a place where you can go outside into the outdoors. Which doesn't look anything like a farm out there, but that's okay. And then he's got a little seating area so he can sit and eat dinner and have a bunch of friends over, I suppose. And then we've got the bedroom, which has a bed and a dresser and a shelf. And more stuff on the wall. Because, you know, you can't have too much stuff on the wall. And that is, in fact, the end of Boots' house. I think he's pretty cute. I suppose it's not super, like, innovative or anything, but I like it. Let's go on to the next one, I suppose. And here we are at Quinn's. And she wanted, like, a photo studio, I believe is what she asked for. I don't know, it's called a place to express myself. Who really knows what it was she was after? Anyway, we've got a little, like, photo backdrop here clothes to signify people. I have no idea. Like little like street lights and stuff. She can do all her picture taking here, I suppose. In the back here we've got like a place for changing. So people wore different outfits. Apparently they only wore the exact same pair of clothes because that was the only color that worked. Not ideal, but also only thing we got. And then we've got a little seating area with some lovely records on the wall, which is one of those things that I enjoy. And then of course little change rooms in the back here and a makeup one. So you can get changed privately and do your makeup. Or I guess have someone else do your makeup. You really suck to show up to a photo shoot and then have to do your own makeup. Because that is how it works sometimes. I suppose in more like casual places. And then we just got like snacks and stuff. 
So you can eat while you ain't, then we'll go upstairs, which I'm pretty sure is an apartment. Yeah, so she can live up here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen this place, to be perfectly honest with you. But she's got a kitchen, so she can kitchen. And then a little dining table with a salad and some fruitcake. I think that's what that is, is fruitcake. Do people still eat fruitcake? I don't know. Apparently my grandmother believed that you had to eat a slice of fruitcake for every month of the year that you wanted to have good luck. I've actually never consumed fruitcake. I don't know how gross it is, but I grew up under the impression that nobody liked it. I also had that with candy corn though. Maybe that was a me thing. It's a thing my mother told me and I believed her. But yeah, she's got a cute little upstairs area with a globe that's turned sideways for some reason. I've got nothing. And then a little sewing box with a sewing machine. So maybe she can design her own clothes or edit outfits or I don't entirely know what the point of that little sewing machine bit was but it's there i always suppose maybe she sews and this is the end of this one god this isn't gonna be a very good video i'm sorry we're not doing well today i do apologize but we have arrived at mitzi's house where she has a mountaintop eater which ended up being kind of japanese inspired i suppose i think that was what she asked for so that's side very simple not super impressive but also there are things outside which is not something you can say about all of the builds, so. And then we come inside, where we have a restaurant. It's a very small restaurant, but of course, this is Animal Crossing, so limited amount of space, but a place where someone can sit and give you a seat. I suppose you could probably just see yourself, given that there's all of eight seats, two tables, so probably not hard. I don't know, professionalism or whatever. We got a little menu hanging up there too. And then we just got two tables with some cute little seats and some mum cushions just because I enjoy the mom cushions. And then we've got some of those lanterns on the floor. I do love these lanterns, but I also wish I could put them on tables. That's one of those things that's very inconvenient. And then of course we've got our restaurant kitchen back here. <laughs> so we've got like a big fridge and some frying and lots of pots and pans on the stove and our little like professional dishwashing section, lots of bottles. So those maybe she cooks with a lot of wine or they're just decorative. I suppose you wouldn't have decorative things in a kitchen. But, and then of course just this little extra space that doesn't have anything in it and then some like prep counter so we can make meals because that's one of those things you need to do right i actually have no idea what's upstairs so let's go see okay so she does have an apartment upstairs which is nice little place she's got a typewriter because i do love a good typewriter also i'm pretty sure she likes books i feel like that was a thing she said when she was living on my island i don't think she still lives there i actually have no idea because i'm good at animal crossing but yeah i think we related pretty hard to mitzi because she was all about books and stuff so she got a typewriter i don't know why if people who like books typewriters as a person who reads a lot of books i'm not a great writer it was a thing people seem to like imply about me a lot for a while i don't know but then we've got a place to sit and what is this picture? Oh, it's just some mushrooms. <laughs> and then of course we've got a little wardrobe area with some more books and some shoe cases, shoe boxes. And then she's got a nice little bathroom with a sink and a tub and a toilet and one of those little like rattan baskets. Oh, and she's got a bird. Look at her with a little bird. I suppose cats eat birds, right? Maybe that's why that's there. Anyway, this was Mitzi's. I don't know, it's pretty cute. She does look real cute just laying there, doesn't she? On to the next one, I suppose. And here we are at Bree's, which is technically a breaking tradition because there is technically a video of this build here, but um, it only has like 15 views. So it's not like I'm showing something that you mostly have seen before. And this is a build that I did that I'm really proud of. And I would like more people to see it, even if you don't want to go back and watch the video because the first couple ones were pretty long. So, I mean, I don't blame you, but we do have what I made in like a dollhouse challenge, maybe. I don't know that it was a challenge. It was a thing that I wanted to do, was make a dollhouse. So the build is actually only meant to be viewed from the front, which is why it looks like this and what the wall in between there is. It's a pretty simple build. We've got like a cute little kitchen. And then of course we have our living room, which has got gyroids in it, playing piano and you know, on the TV. This is meant to be viewed like this. So if it looks weird from other angles, that's why. Also, she's a toaster on top of the fridge. I'm not really sure about that one. And of course she has that little phone on the wall, which is something that I recall from dollhouses as a child. I think actually, you know what it was? It was a video game, like a Puddle Books video game. One with the like imaginary monster or something. Did any of you guys play Puddle Books? They were just like little kid video games that I loved. 
And here we have a lot of that butterfly wallpaper. I do not like butterflies, but I do kind of enjoy the wallpaper and it's not something you get to use very often. It's kind of a lot, but if you just view it just from the front, it's not quite so bad, I guess. Anyway, we've got, of course, our little bedroom. Got a lot of toys dotted around because imagine like dollhouses for kids. Lots of them have like small toys for the people inside to play with. She also has her own dollhouse, which, you know, kind of meta or whatever. <laughs> and then we go back over here. We've just got a cute little office space, which again is just a desk and a bookshelf and a plant. A pretty small space, so it's not like there's a huge amount of stuff you can put in it. And then, of course, our little bathroom, which again is adorable and small. But this here is Bree's dollhouse. I'm a fan. I really enjoy it, both conceptually and also, I guess, in execution. I don't know. It doesn't look quite as good as I remember it looking. Thought we would show it off anyway. Let me know if it's wrong of me to give you tours of builds that are technically videos on the channel. I mean, I wouldn't do it with ones that have like a bunch of views or whatever, but if no one's seen it, it's kind of like something that you haven't seen before, right? <laughs> I've got nothing. I'm not doing well. If any of you have like the giant present DIY thing, that you could lend to me. Um, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know how we would send that. We could figure that out because I'm going to try and find it because I want to do some Christmas story day builds, even though it really doesn't feel like a week until Christmas. So, you know, it's an adventure we're having here, but this is in fact actually, I think, going to be the end of our video. So if you liked the video or just had a good time hanging out with me, you could hit that like button and leave me a comment down below. Your thoughts on the builds or literally anything at all. And if you think you'd like to do this again sometime, you can hit that subscribe button. But I'll see y'all on Tuesday. Goodbye.